uh, this time we'll we'll do this diagnostic uh, forensic challenge so as you can see it's an easy one uh, let's see later if it's easy so this is the challenge description uh, SOC has identified numerous phishing emails coming in claiming to have a document about an upcoming round of layoffs in the company so the emails all contain a link to this one diagnostic.htb this is the domain and this is the document layoffs.doc the DNS for that domain has since stopped resolving but the server is still hosting the malicious document so your docker so we have a docker here so let's start it now so we have to take a look and figure out what's going on okay we'll give in a public IP uh, with this port so what we'll have to do is of course the best practice is uh, open it using your malware analysis BM because we're dealing with the malicious document so again let's copy the instance but first uh, okay let's show you so of course the, the very first thing you will do is you will try to resolve that if you could access that and then layoffs that doc so this is how we should we, we should be able to download this see so now we we can now fetch the file so that this is one way and another way you could save it in your host file uh, but this is the shortcut okay let's save it so okay so now it's in our downloads folder so let's try to open it so CD downloads layoffs.doc oh we have the diagnostic.doc okay all right so we don't have that file so let's check that diagnostic that doc okay so we're dealing with an OLE file here so let's try to use all the tools OLE object ID let's take that doc OLE oh sorry OLE ID okay all the ID is the correct so does it contain all the object uh, usually contain malicious BB script in this case oh it doesn't contain any BB script does not contain XLM macros but the, the red flag here is this one external relationship use all the object for details okay so nice of all the tools to guide us further so let's use all the object diagnostic that okay work in progress okay found a relationship with this one okay uh, obviously we cannot resolve this diagnostic.htb this is actually the docker IP so what we can do is uh, copy this one copy the URI URI path and could paste it here oh sorry this doesn't copy it copy okay there's nothing here but uh, if you are an, uh, what you call this if you are a really uh, investigator you will not stop here you will do right click and do view page source something might might be hidden there and indeed there is something hidden in the page source uh, we can see here in book expression system encoding okay we already see an encoding and base 64 string interesting so what you can do is copy it all so we could see uh, the whole text copy it all into a notepad okay let me just do it okay it's not letting me copy right copied open a notepad I'm using Remnox by the way this very easy very useful VM because it contains all the malware analysis tools like the all the all the tools for analyzing malicious document so it's by Lenny Seltzer so I re highly recommend downloading it 
if you are to analyze a malicious document you have a ready VM to use okay what do we have here so system encoding so we need to convert this so probably ASCII tables will help and cyberchef for the base64 string okay so first up since there, since there are we need to convert this first before converting into base64 convert this first to ASCII so let's open uh, ASCII table should be pretty easy because we only have a couple of ASCII uh, decimal values here so what we need uh, character 58 and 34 so character 58 character 34 okay we need to replace character 34 with double quote and character 58 with colon let's do that so character 34 is colon colon here and then character 58 are we oh sorry character 34 is double quote double quote and then character 58 is the colon okay you could also do cyber shape here find and replace but since we, it's just a couple so it's easy to manually change it character 58 colon again and another colon oh we have another here character 34 with double quote character 34 with double quote alright so now it's done we can now convert the base 64 bits okay let's copy another one. Oh, let's duplicate this one hey why is it like that okay okay let's now convert this base 64 string I will now convert this up to this one we can convert it using cyber chef cyber chef okay so as you can see uh, forens forensics and reverse malware analysis come hand in hand so they are both important skills uh, when you work in SOC or in incident response so you have to to know uh, basic encoding and decoding okay just uh, some ad lib before uh, we decode this so okay we now have the cyber ship so since this is a base 64 string the recipe would be from base 64 okay what happened okay so now we have this okay interesting interesting command let's paste it back so we have okay where did it stop okay so that's converted and another base 64 string let's convert this one base 64 starting here up to the bottom let's see if there's something there as well okay so oh nice now for a cheer <laughs> so seems like uh, these are uh, are extra bits not really necessary for the attack but sort of to confuse us in our analysis but definitely this is not worth analyzing further <laughs> okay so this is just the interesting part the first one so this first one that we have decoded starting here dollar file up to this one okay let's analyze it separately further down as you can see uh, this is just um, 
an array ordering the values the first array values uh, basically this is just uh, sorting and concatenating the the array values on the second second portion here so that will be our answer our flag so we could do it by hand for example seven what is the seventh value in the array so one you count here one two three four five six seven oh sorry you start with the zero zero one two three four five six no something's not right oh we start here we start with the x eh? i mean yeah we start with the x one two three a zero one two three four five six seven okay we got ht ht right and then the one so zero zero oh x eh? zero one so b now you get the idea so we can go on and on but uh, the fastest way to do it is to run this by a PowerShell so we could do PowerShell here if I'm not so PowerShell I don't know if Remnox is a PowerShell right so it it has so we can paste it okay and then we could echo dollar dollar file okay dollar oh that's because uh, we have extra string there let's paste it again paste let's not try dollar file okay dollar file 2 let's give it a unique name echo dollar file 2 oh what is wrong okay I think I made a mistake let's try again Oh yeah, close. Okay, let's do file three. Echo file dollar file three. Okay, echo dollar file three. There you go. So this is actually our answer. HTB and you know the 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 pattern for hack the box flag as HTB and then close by uh, curly brackets you just remove the dot exe okay so hope you have fun till the next challenge